January of 2014, we had issues with the structural integrity of the bridge, and we actually had to close the bridge down for um, about a week to put in temporary support. So at that point, MDOT stepped up to the plate more than we had before to get this project rolling. And with the partnership with Auburn Hills, and then some of our legislative counterparts in Lansing, we were able to secure the funding to make this project a reality. So on this design build project, we were able to use innovative technologies and uh, work with Federal Highways and MDOT in order to modify the proposed bridge skew out here on this job and avoid uh, potential bad soil impacts on the project. Also, we were able to shorten the, the overall length of the bridge, which was pretty major on this job, which helped with saving costs, saving schedule, budget. Um, also, long-term maintenance costs were, uh, will also be saved on this project due to the shorter bridge length. Um, we had to do something quickly. We had to act quickly. We had to be responsive to um, the issues we had out here. So design build was just a logical avenue to get this project going because we were able to get the project documents ready for bidding within about nine months of finding the issue in the field. And then it also gave us the opportunity to work with design build team, Stan's Excavating and Bergman Associates, to find some more cost effective ways to um, build the project. They came with turning the bridge a little bit so we could have a shorter bridge, which saved us millions of dollars. So it was a very useful tool. Um, a diverting diamond is relatively new to the state of Michigan. Obviously, this is our first one, but it's not new to a lot of the other states. And what they have found and what we were really intrigued by is that diverging diamonds, because you reduce the conflict points with left turns, it reduces traffic crashes by approximately 50%. And so that was really exciting for us because this was an interchange that has tons of left turn um, volume. And then the other thing is you can build these with a very small footprint. And so with this project, when we were looking at doing a cloverleaf project before, we needed over 10 to $14 million in right away. And we needed zip with this job. So it was a, a savings in that respect as well. We didn't need to spend money on right away. But basically it had safety benefits and, um, and cost benefits for being a smaller footprint. Key to the success of this fast-paced design build project was the constant communication and collaboration with MDOT, Federal Highways, City of Auburn Hills, Dan's Excavating, and coming up with solutions during construction and before construction happened in order to build the project faster, get it done on time and within budget. Uh, a lot of the local media have come out here at different times when the project is being built to see it coming down and see it coming up in the different stages. It's just really been a really good team. One thing that was really neat about this project is since it was a design build project, there was the Dan's excavating team that included Bergman Associates and Tetra Tech. And then there was the MDOT team, which we had um, AECOM and Fishbeck Thompson, Karn Huber. We had a lovely ribbon cutting event, a big huge white tent up here on the bridge. In fact, cars that were driving underneath were honking at the tent and they could tell there was something going on. Before it even began, a local high school came in, a marching band, and they walked from the nearby parking lot up through this pedestrian area. Trumpets blowing, uh, saxophones, everything that they had going on, it really was quite lovely. And all their parents and grandparents came to take pictures as well. We had a lot of the local leaders. We had a senator, a representative, the city manager, mayors, and a lot of people involved. Everybody came to this, and then we walked down to the west end of the bridge and had a lovely ribbon cutting and photo op kind of ceremony. It was really quite nice. 